Well, back in my younger days, I used to build vacuum tube amplifiers out of junk radio and TV parts. Then I made a career out of it and it wasn't very exciting anymore. So in my retirement, I have decided to build another vacuum tube amp. This will be a uh, modern clone of an old Fender guitar amplifier. Had most of the tubes. I had to order a couple of 12AX7s. They didn't use those in radios and TVs too much. And I really want to thank Uncle Doug for recommending what he calls the Christmas tree bits for drilling holes, like big holes for tube sockets in aluminum. They, they work wonderfully. Uh, to be honest, I didn't know if this project was ever going to get done until all the holes got drilled and now it looks like it, it might actually uh, proceed. So hope to uh, shoot the next video of an amplifier further along in the construction process. Now this is the finished amplifier. Well it's not completely finished. I don't have the uh, the AC power hooked up yet. But I did have a signal through it tonight for the very first time running it on a 40 watt light bulb and a variac. I only had about 180 volts of uh, B plus and it didn't have a whole lot of volume and the tone wasn't the best and the uh, tremolo works but it doesn't work real well. It works just barely enough to tell that it's working, which all of which you might expect from having low B plus. So the next stage is to crank up on the thing and finish the AC wiring and put a reasonable fuse in it and crank it up to the normal amount of B plus and see what it'll say. More to come! Okay, this is the first time, well the second time actually, running this amplifier without the dim bulb in series with it. And it's got some hum to it because my old house doesn't have grounded outlets and my Variac is not grounded and neither is the amp right now. That will be fixed eventually. But with a V plus of around 270 volts, I'm not running full line yet. I'm running about 90 volts, which is giving me about 280 at the first filter, 272 on the plate of the 6V6, which I'm figuring is about 7.5 watts. But the uh, signal's a lot cleaner with a higher B plus. Great. That's, I think, maximum sensitivity. I ought to not be touching this. It's a little less. aren't as easy to find on the web as I thought they would be. But, there you have it. This has been my goal, is to play an instrument that I built myself, a cable I built myself, an amp I built myself, Heck, I even made the strap for it. So, awesome. Take some more uh, video when I get the uh, mechanics cleaned up and get it flipped over on its feet. 
Okay, well, amplifier project is complete and working and sounds pretty good. Uh, I ran some numbers on it and back when I was first building this thing, I noticed that the, the power transformer that I got is a, is a little hot and I run in the numbers, I have a plate voltage of 381 volts with a current of about uh, 44 milliamps, which gives a whopping 16 watts of plate dissipation on that poor 6V6, and it does run, do, does run pretty hot. Uh, and before I start asking questions about uh, bias resistor. I have the standard, the standard 470 ohm bias resistor on the on the cathode. Uh, my resistor measures 465 ohms. That's what I use in here. But of course, the uh, the elephant in the room is 381 volts on the plate. When I believe a 6V6 only wants about 315 max. So, would it be a good idea to? to put in another filter stage, another Pi network with another drop-in resistor uh, before the, uh, the first filter stage, before the one that goes to the output transformer and of course then to the plate or should I just start messing with uh, bias resistors? Inquiring minds want to know and I would appreciate any help that the internet world can give me. Thanks.